Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface, part of DGN, Total Gaming Network. Doesn't it feel like deja vu? Always spawning here, always speaking to Nazgrim for the next quest. I know, god, it's like Groundhog Day. But we're taking a, a teleport over to Darnassus, because it's the Night Elves who have stolen the Divine Bell. Well, they haven't stolen it, they've taken it for themselves. We're the ones who actually want to steal it back for us. So this quest is going to operate a little bit like the Rogue Legendary quests, if you ever did them. Where you're going to go into a stealth mode and you have this big ring around you, which is your radius. If anything gets in there, then they can see you. They can tell that you're either active or moving or whatnot. So don't get any guards within that radius. And we're going to see what happens when I do as well, because I wanted to test a few few things out when I did this quest. Um, and yeah, I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> I'm only a member of the, you know, the Alliance on the live servers. Why on earth would I know my way around Dionysus? <laughs> Why would I come here? So first of all, I'm going to try and sneak past this guard with it getting in my radius. And there you go, it pulls. So I'm going to attack it, which drags me out of my stealth. Now, it doesn't take me too long to dispatch it, thankfully, even though... Haven't got my pet out. Does it matter now with my pet? Because it's so bugged, it doesn't really matter. But when I kill the guard, I don't go back into stealth mode. No, what I have to do is I have to use that teleporter to zap back to the little base, speak to the dude again, and then he will put me back into a stealth mode. But I've got to be careful because apparently if I teleport too much, then it might alert Jaina Proudmore to my presence. So, you know... Be a little bit more um, cautious, dear boy. But what I did discover is if you do get attacked, like I'm getting attacked now, just don't fight back. Just just carry on walking, and you will eventually they will eventually lose you because of your stealth defect. So they don't chase you for too long. So and and when I went around, I went around to various places. You might see the time just jumped on a little bit. I tried lots of different avenues of attack. To see if there was a route that you could take where you didn't have to alert a single guard. And uh, I genuinely couldn't find one. <laughs> I could not find any route whatsoever that would allow me to get past without alerting a single solitary guard. So this time, I'm trying to see what happens if I go past a guard with its back to me again. It's still aggroed in, but this time we're not going to fight it. We're going to run into a dead end. So we're going to leave that <laughs> going to leave that dead end and then come out this way. But as you can see, it's only hitting me for around 10, 11k and it's going to lose interest. There you go. It's lost interest already. It's lost me. So it's, it's an interesting little concept this. Just don't attack, ride it out and then you'll eventually find your way to wherever you need to go when you're not getting lost. <laughs> I really, I really should probably look at a map. I think I do in a second, actually. Because <laughs> I'm just going around down asses thinking, where the chuff am I meant to be? But it's all gravy. I'll find my way in a second. So we're coming up to the entrance area that we, we need to discover. And it's actually hidden in a tree trunk. I think that's the whole point with all these hippie druid type people with the, uh, the night owls. Is that half of their buildings are actually hollowed out trees. So... When I'm down at this level and I just see a tree trunk, I just think it's a regular tree. But no, 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 there's a base inside. So we've got these, here we go, Darnassian protectors, which are little trees, cute little trees anyway. And they're trying to guard. Now this dude's only a level 55, so I don't need to worry about him getting aggroed in. I've got a much, much smaller aggro range for that chappy. And there we go, there's the entrance. So if I wander down... No doubt we shall find the bell hidden at the bottom. So what we're going to do is when we discover the bell, we're then going to right click onto it, which will kind of attach a beacon of sorts. And then the and then the blood elves are going to teleport the bell out to Silvermoon, where we will study it for our own means. Now, I thought I could have waited for this, this guy to, uh, to do his patrol, but I thought, screw it. I could only see one. It's the only person, so I thought I might as well attack it if that was the bell there. Again, goes down in no time. They're not very difficult. These people aren't elites like they were in the last video. They're just regular level 90s. There. And I'm a clothy. No problem at all. So there we go. Right-clicked. Use my teleport. 
go back to the base, hand it in. So I think that only leaves two more parts of this whole storyline to go. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook. They need some love. They do. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care, everybody. Bye-bye.